uh, the winter's all right, um, but I really never liked New Year's Eve. Even as a little kid, I found it just totally depressing and sad. And I, I can remember, like, even at, like, six years old, being able to stay up late to watch the ball drop in Times Square and be, like, surrounded by these grown-ups wearing polyester pantsuits and floor-length dresses, all sort of swaying back and forth and singing Old Lang Syne. You know, you know the lyrics to that, right? It's like, should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot in days of old lang syne? Now, it's a question. They're like, should we forget about people? No, we shouldn't. But it's sung in this like totally depressing, dirge-like way. And even as a kid, I'm like, everything is ending. I'm saying goodbye to being in first grade. I will never be in first grade for the first time again. I will never see Star Wars in the theater again. This is sad. This is loss. I just felt extreme loss. But I figured out some ways to cope. I listened to Casey Kasem's 100 song countdown. You guys remember that was amazing. I would actually take my um, Radio Shack tape recorder and hold it up to my clock radio and get as much of the music as I could, you know, so I could listen to it all the rest of the coming year. And then I got older and I found other coping mechanisms, you know, like just partying and hanging out with friends, having you know, very dramatic romantic encounters that lasted about 24 hours and, um, you know, fun stuff like that. But that sense of melancholy always stuck with me. And then there came a year where the melancholy was actually tinged with fear, where I was actually afraid of the next year. I am, of course, talking about Y2K. For those of you who are too young to have experienced it, or if you were off the grid, I'm just going to explain quickly. Computers, when they were first getting developed, and I'm saying this in like the simple way, all right? Go to Wikipedia, you'll get the whole deal. But six-digit date was the original idea for computers, you know, two for the month, day, and year. But then you get to the end of 99, it goes to zero, zero. Is it going to be, are the computers going to think it's 2000? Or are they going to think it's 1900 or 1700? We don't even know what's going to happen. And, you know, they immediately threw a lot of money at this and tried to fix this in most of people's computers. But the media ran off with it. And we were talking about, you know, a complete economic collapse, airplanes falling out of the sky, you know, just total disaster Armageddon. And I bought into it. I was in my 20s. I was like easily very paranoid conspiracy theorist, I knew this was the end. And uh, all I wanted to do was get the heck away from the worst of it, which I was in the Baltimore DC corridor. And so I was like, I want out of the city. I want out of all the cities. And I went with my friends who felt like me to the most far flung safe place we can imagine, which was Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Which, if you know, is this lovely summer tourist town. But back then, it was kind of dead in the winter. There was really nothing happening. And I have to also say, like, I know you're like, why not the mountains? Why not somewhere safer? For me, I grew up in Florida, and for me, nothing was safer than the ocean. That, just the sound was going to calm me down. And if it was the end of days, I was going to be spending it with my friends, with my feet in the water. So we trek on down to Rehoboth Beach. We get a very cheap hotel room right on the boardwalk. And the one restaurant open in town serves a fantastic falafel. So, so far, the end of days is looking pretty good. And then we decide, OK, you know, we've had our night. Now it's time to go down to the beach and, and wait for whatever is coming. And we get down to the beach, and we take off our shoes. And it's really cold. And it, you know, the ocean does this really cool thing when it's that cold. You get the foamy sort of foamy water like floating around everywhere. So this really neat spooky effect. It was like we were kind of on the moon, you know, it really were at the end of the world. And we all were like hanging out there, holding each other, drinking shots of tequila and just, you know, trying to be close. And what it seemed like it was right about midnight, we started doing our countdown. And 10, nine, eight. And my friend goes, hey, look down there. And and we look down the coast to like the next town over, and we see all these fireworks going off. And we're hearing people go, woo! And 
and celebrating. And we realized that, well, none of us has a watch. We had this in intuitive sense of midnight. It was totally wrong. And midnight's already happened, which means Y2K is nigh, and we're still here. And no planes have fallen into the ocean that we can see. And whatever else is happening in the city, we still don't know. But the ocean really doesn't give a crap whether it's 1999 or 2000. The stars really don't care what year it is. And I knew that in that moment, maybe it wasn't the end of the world, maybe it was just the beginning of our next year, but I didn't want to be anywhere else but with my friends, with my feet in the water and the stars overhead. Thanks. <laughs>